to A Cup Full of Hope. I am Hope. I'm a second grade teacher in South Carolina. And I want to talk to you today about academic vocabulary. So please, if you haven't already, I would love for you to subscribe to my channel and keep watching if you're interested in how to hear about how I implement academic vocabulary in my classroom. So what you see here is my academic vocabulary wall. These are the words that I use in academic dialogue and text. A lot of times they're not informal and they're not found in like informal types of conversation. They're those tier three vocabulary that we as teachers have to pull out and specifically teach. The words that you probably would find in assessments as students are reading questions and learning test taking skills, they need to learn these types of vocabulary words that they would probably see on their assessments. Um, for me, I teach one word in each subject area every week. And what I also typically like to do is use them in my morning message. Uh, every day that I would write a morning message, I would have some of these words within the message so that we can work with them. And then I try to get the students to work with them in different ways, whether it's to like in a morning, during the morning meeting, when we have these words, we come up with um, signs, we come up with motions, we come up with um, sign language to remember these types of vocabulary words. Now, once a month, I actually have my students to write poetry with these words, and then we display them here on this poetry tree, and they get to choose the subject matter, whether it's in science or social studies, reading, writing, math, and I give them a type of poetry frame for them to use some creativity, but also use the academic vocabulary words that's posted in our room. So you'll see, I've just got posted on the bulletin board each month. Our class uses our academic vocabulary to write different types of poetry to show our understanding of vocabulary we have learned. And then of course, I've also included the standard that I've covered with this type of activity. With this particular board, we worked on haiku poems. There's other poetry that we've used. I've done diamantes with them. We've done acrostics, but this poem that we worked on in this particular display was, were haikus. So this student, it looks like, did on math. This student used the academic vocabulary from writing. Writing a story is fun. Use the word tales and characters. This is about social studies, about the mayor and who the mayor is. Academic vocabulary from social studies, again, when we've studied supply and demand. So the students have the freedom to choose what they want to write their poem about. So I'm actually integrating several subjects, whether it's writing, reading, and any of the content areas that we've have studied. So this is an activity I look forward to and I really feel like it helps and it gets our, my students to actually use the vocabulary that we've learned. All right, so now that you have seen my academic vocabulary board and just a little activity that I like to implement with my students about once a month, I wanna just talk a little bit about, a little bit more about what I do with academic vocabulary and I want to reflect on my practices and talk about maybe some changes and some tweaks that I want to do looking forward to the next year. And I'd love to hear back from you. Do you use academic vocabulary in your classroom? What words do you use? Um, how many words a week do you include in academic vocabulary? What exact types of activities do you do with academic vocabulary? Is it a systematic approach for you or is it something that you get to whenever you can. Um, I had been asked by my supervisor to make sure that we have a systematic approach to the academic vocabulary, so I decided to include it within my morning meeting. If you've studied and read af about academic vocabulary, you'll know that it was Robert Marzano who did the basis of the research, and he has a book that you can check out. It's called Building Academic Vocabulary. <laughs> Imagine that. But 
in his book, he talks about the vocabulary words, and that's one thing I know that I would like to do next year is I really want to dig deeper into making sure that I have the words that definitely are number one, tier three words. Number two, that these are going to be words that they are going to see on assessments, particularly our benchmark assessments that are going to be some, that's going to cause higher order thinking skills and possibly some words that they're not familiar with, such as classify, evaluate. I did not include those words this year, but just looking back over assessments that we've taken and then again with some new benchmarking software that my district has implemented, I feel like it's going to be important that I look at those words and find a way to incorporate those words into the academic vocabulary activities that I do. So in the book, um, Building Academic Vocabulary by Robert Marzano, he says that we should you go through these six steps of teaching academic vocabulary and getting students to um, acquire the vocabulary so that they can use it when it comes to assessment time. So the first one is to describe, and I feel like I hit that within my morning meeting message. So every week I will um, create a message. I don't do a message every day. I do one message per week. And what I like to do within this message is I'll have my five different academic vocabulary words that I plan to introduce and then we'll talk about on the first day. Step two of Marzano's um, six steps to teaching academic vocabulary is to restate those words. And I feel like that I hit that through reading this morning message every day. I'll put up that morning message. I have helpers that come up and will read the morning message quarterly because I want to build fluency within my second grade classroom and I'll have a different student to come up every day and help me just read that particular message of the day and we're seeing and hearing this these particular vocabulary words that we're wanting to use within our classroom especially in the academic setting. Uh, number three is to include some type of symbol and then we actually will include a symbol starting on Tuesday. The class and I will decide with those five vocabulary words that we will um, come up with some type of hand motion or sign language so that when we're reading the morning message starting on Tuesday, as we're reading, we incorporate the, the sign language. So one of our words, for example, was opinion this year. So every time we said, this week, we're gonna be writing an opinion. And we would put an O up and we knew that an opinion is something that we give, so we would have, we decided that we would say, opinion. Using those symbols are a lot of fun. The kids really get into it and not only do we use those symbols during the morning meeting, but the students would also get into the habit if we use those particular academic vocabulary throughout the day, they would use those symbols. We did opinion. I'm thinking of a couple others that we did um, when we talked about um, the theme of a book, we would show a symbol of a book. When we talked about being a good citizen and the word that we had that week was citizen, we would stand up straight and put our hand over our hearts to show that we were good citizens, such as, tell, such as saying the Pledge of Allegiance. So even during throughout, or excuse me, during the entire day, throughout the day, we would be able to use those um, words, not just during morning meeting. The fourth step of Marzano's research was to actually put the words into your notes. Now, this is something that I don't, I don't feel like I've really embraced other than once a month I am having our students to put into, um, into a, you know, put the academic vocabulary into a poem so they do have the opportunity to write, but maybe a systematic book of words. I really don't do that part of the suggested research that 
I have read in Marzano's uh, Building Academic Vocabulary. I have tried to do academic vocabulary words, um, like a notebook for them to put in, and they would create maybe like a Freyer diagram for each of those words, but it's just not something that the, you know, the couple of years that I tried it that we stuck to it. Have you used an academic vocabulary notebook? I'd love to hear your feedback if you have and if it was something that you were able to continue to implement into your classroom all year because that's something that just for some reason it just it hasn't clicked and it hasn't stuck within my own practices as a teacher. However, the last step that Marzano gives us are games and I want to incorporate this more within my practices with academic vocabulary, but I have played games with these words. We might do guessing games. We do guess the word activity. Uh, we would do um, charades with these words. So occasionally throughout the year when it's time to review some of our vocabulary, those are some games that we would play in the classroom. So I feel like it has been a learning journey for me. I've done academic vocabulary in my classroom for six years and every year I feel like I have done something a little bit different and but I've added pieces to my practices that I felt like worked for me like including it in my morning meeting and especially the morning message the last three years I've been doing that and that has worked for me um, but there's just some pieces that I have not quite been able to keep up with back to the academic no notebook with the vocabulary words in the notebook um, I just haven't stuck to that practice in getting my students to do that each week or every day that they that that they should be working with maybe I'll try that next year try to really keeping behind them and making sure that they stick with their academic notebook since I am introducing them in a very systematic way during my morning meeting. I'd love to hear back from you. What do you do with academic vocabulary? How long have you been on your journey? Um, I think it's something that we need to think about because those testing words and those tier three words, we specifically have got to find a way to teach them. We specifically have got to find a way to um, connect them with our students in a meaningful way. So I'd love to hear back from you. Thanks for watching, especially all the way to the end if you've made it. I'd love for you to subscribe my channel and if you use vocabulary, please like the, the video and give me some feedback in the comments. See you next time.